Hello folks, so I got a request for an analysis on uni, well since I got her and I got the time, why not? So in case you're curious about a certain character and want to rely on me for the analysis, well then maybe you can reach out to me from the comments or from my twitter, I might consider your request. Ok, on to the point, here's uni, despite her look she's a third year in high school, she's 18, means she's legal. Well, it kinda depends on where you live though. At the current point of the game, you can only get her from Gacha, and she's on the permanent Gacha pool, so you can get her anytime, if you're lucky enough, I guess. Or you can wait for the character pick to get. I have a hunch we'll be getting one on the upcoming 2.5 anniversary, no guarantee though. Okay, enough with the trivials, let's move on. First, let's check out our skill set. Starting from her Union Burst. Grants huge physical attack increase to all allies and big physical crit increase to all allies. Next, her skill 1 gives the following buff to an ally with the highest physical attack stat. Big physical attack increase, big physical crit increase, and small TP recovery. But inflicts the following debuff on self. Physical defense and magic defense 15% down. Next, her skill 2 grants TP regeneration over time to all allies and a magic nullify barrier to all allies, but reduce self magic attack by 70%. Okay, that was her skill set. At this point, we can easily conclude that she is a physical attack buffer. She buffs physical attack of all allies with her union burst. With her skill 1, she buffs a single character with the highest attack, and her skill 2 grants barrier and TP regeneration which even though just a little will also boost the team's overall DPS. But she has a little downside because she inflicts the buff on herself. First she has physical and magic defense down and also she has 70% attack down. Means we cannot expect any damage from her and also we cannot expect her to self sustain from attacking. There will be cases where she cannot survive without any healing supports. Next, let's take a look at her moveset. Her moveset is pretty simple. So she starts with skill 1, skill 2, and normal attack. It's nice that she starts with her skill 1, so that our attacker gets the nice buff right off the bat. From there on, the loop skill is skill 1, normal attack, skill 2, normal attack twice. Pretty short and pretty simple. The buff from her skill 1 has around 5-6 seconds downtime in the loop set, so you might want to carefully time your TPS unit burst for maximum damage output. Next, let's take a look at her unit burst animation. Okay, just a trivia from here, do you notice that she actually never used her spear axe shape weapon despite she's carrying it around all the time? And to top it off, she discussed that weapon in her Union Burst animation. Okay, next. So here to showcase Uni's potential, I made a battle comparison with our favorite EX3 dungeon boss. One is a party with Uni, and the other one on the upper left, I replaced Uni with a 6 star Reno, another attacker. I'll let things run on full auto and double speed. Okay, so the purpose of this comparison is mainly to see how the damage of the character changes with and without Uni. So this is not meant to be the ideal formation or anything. As you can see here, Uni is taking damage and she's not recovering HP due to her lowered attack. Things still works out with this battle because this boss attacks only hits Uni up to 3 hits in one battle, 
but when you're using Uni where the boss hits the backline frequently, you'll need to give her a healing support or else she won't be able to endure the heat. Okay, let's compare the damage report results. Okay, since Hiori had the highest attack, she received the skill 1 buff. That's why her damage output is doubled. Other characters get the Union Burst buff, so their damage also significantly increased. Not to mention, the total damage is also significantly different. Okay, and that's about all I can show you about Uni. Overall, she is a really good physical team buffer, and she can boost your party damage output by a whole lot. Well, currently she is rather overshadowed by Princess Kokoro because Princess Kokoro buff is just broken, but since Princess Kokoro can basically go anywhere, it never hurts to have another buffer you can utilize when you can't use Princess Kokoro. And of course, using Uni together with Princess Kokoro also works. If you have both, feel free to experiment. Okay, I think that will be all for my vid this time. If you have any other requests, you can reach out to me on the comments or you can contact me on Twitter. I'll leave the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. See you around.